Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my setup for the month of November and I'm super excited about this month. And I know that I say that about almost every other month but I'm really excited about this month's theme. So this month's theme is on hedgehogs. And there was a period last year in 2020 where I was super obsessed with drawing hedgehogs and I think it was from Journal OE. She had a theme where she drew hedgehogs as well in a garden setting and I just thought that they were so cute that I started getting a little bit obsessed with drawing hedgehogs and I think that now that it's been a year since I was just kind of inspired again to draw hedgehogs and for one they are pretty easy to draw and the second reason is just because they are so cute so yeah my cover page is of a hedgehog that is tucked snugly in a little blanket I'm gonna be using warmer colors this time around and I'm also going to be incorporating a little bit of gingham design as well so for my cover page I just started off by doing a quick outline with my 03 Sacrum Pigma Micron pen. I started by drawing the hedgehog's face first, mostly because I think that that is the hardest part of the hedgehog, and uh, everything else kind of revolves around the hedgehog's face anyway, so that's why I decided to do it first. I think being able to draw the eyes well really affects how the entire thing looks, and I feel like the hedgehog's eyes just kind of bring the entire drawing together. And so now that I'm done with my drawing, so I'm just going to be using my watercolors from Prima Watercolor and also my Paul Rubin watercolors. And for my Paul Rubin watercolors, I'm just using them solely for my hedgehog's fur as well. I decided to choose three different kinds of brown, one that's slightly more reddish and the other two are just different shades of brown just so that I can create even more texture for my hedgehog. What I really did was incorporating a wet and wet technique. This allows for the paint to be even lighter and for the colours to just spread better as well. I can't believe that this is just second last theme for the year. And I'm super excited to finally finish my first year of bullet journaling. But at the same time, I'm just a bit astounded at how fast time is flying. And soon, we are going to be setting up for 2022 and that's just insane to me. But anyway, going back to the painting, I'm just moving on to the hedgehog's fur. And this is the part that is really a little bit more mindless because I'm just using my thinnest watercolor brush possible and then I'm just uh, painting in the strokes of the hedgehog's fur. And how I go about doing this is just to alternate between the different brown colors. I'm starting off with a lighter shade of brown and slowly working my way up to a darker shade of brown. Of course, I want to create some dimension and depth to my hedgehog as well. So how I do that is by going over the areas that I want to be darker a few more times. I try to abstain from using the darker brown colours for the areas where I want there to be a little bit more highlights. So I tried to use a different kind of cursive lettering for the month of November as well. I'm not sure if it's really noticeable but I feel like I've been using the same lettering for the past few months so I've been trying to change it out a little bit just to expand my lettering style.
after I'm done with my hedgehog, I felt that the entire peach was a little bit empty simply because I only had one drawing in the middle of the peach. And so I decided to add a little border as well. And so you'll be able to see that I'm incorporating this ball of yarn throughout my November setup as well. And after that, I'm of course finishing it up with my most trusted washi tapes. And I got this new box to put all my washi tapes in. And I just think it looks super cute and really elegant. So happy with how all my washi tapes look all packed up in my new box. So yeah, I guess it just gives me a, a an excuse to get more washi tapes, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just using these two washi tapes uh, throughout my entire November setup as well. I just thought it was quite appropriate that they were kind of warmer colours. So moving on to my calendar spread, I'm moving back to my big calendar spread. Simply because I think that I just want to switch things up a bit. I've been using the tiny calendar for the past two months if I'm not wrong, so I really wanted to bring it back into a bigger calendar. And also because I also wanted to incorporate my calendar into the design a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing, uh, just creating the sort of gingham pattern as well. I'm lettering in my November at the top of the page and I'm really satisfied with how this turned out. Honestly, I was slightly scared that the calendar and the hedgehog would look so cute but I will accidentally mess it up my lettering but I think it turned out quite nice I must say. And afterwards, I'm just using my Tomo Fudonosuke brush pen to add those little frills at the end as well. I just thought that this would be really nice to just give a little bit more texture and to make it look more like a scarf. Now moving on to my mood and my habit tracker and I must say that my hedgehog that I drew for the mood tracker is super cute. I am just in love with it. I think it's super super cute and adorable and oh I forgot to say it just now but I got all these hedgehog drawings from Pinterest. Pinterest is really a big source of inspiration for me and uh, just Searching hedgehogs and Pinterest led to so many cute hedgehog photos that just gave me a lot of inspiration as to what to draw and how to draw them. So. I really love the incorporation of the scarves as well and I'm just so glad that I had all these brown Tombow Duo brush pens just lying around as well so I think it really fits super well with the whole Hitchhawk theme especially since it's kind of similar shape to the Hitchhawk as well. I also paint the white portion of the hedgehog simply because I think that although hedgehogs are completely white, in real life I thought that my bullet journal pages were just a little bit too white. 
that it looked a little bit empty so I just painted in a red thin coat of brown paint as well and for my habit tracker since you know the hedgehog is kind of dense I painted the darker side with a darker paint of brown as well I'm really excited about the mood tracker for November I really hope it turns out well I have high hopes for it uh, what I did actually was to draw a hedgehog that's tucked underneath a blanket and the blanket is going to be a gingham pattern of course it's going to be made up of my mood for the days of the month of November so I really hope it turns out well I hope that my moods are very enough that the blanket will be interesting and I hope that it just turns out really cute Moving on to my one liner day spread, once again, I am drawing this little hedgehog and this time around the hedgehog is in a watermelon and uh, it's just in the middle of the page once again because I really love this layout for my one liner day spread. It just works super well for me so I always find myself going back to this because this is really tried and tested and just the setup really works super well for me because it gives me the space to write down the things that happen for that particular day and also still leaves enough room for there to be some artistic design as well. I'm just using my Sakura Pigment Micro Pen to colour in the watermelon seeds as well. And I also decided to incorporate the gingham pattern into my one liner day spread as well. I wasn't sure if it would be too much, but at the end, I just really like how the entire page looks like. Uh, I just think it's really cute and super excited for November to come because because of how the, all the spreads turned out, I just think that November is going to be quite an interesting month to fill up. So yeah, this is how it looks like. On hindsight, it looks like the watermelon that he chose in is actually on a picnic mat rather than a blanket. So. I guess it doubles up. <laughs> Moving on to my fave lock, this hedgehog is in a cup and I drew something similar a year ago and I just think that it's very interesting to draw similar things a while later and comparing the hedgehogs I drew in my November setup to the hedgehogs that I drew one year ago and I was just actually surprised to see a significant improvement from what I drew last year. Not saying that my drawings now are perfect but it was just very encouraging to see significant enough improvement that able to tell how my art style has kind of developed and improved along with the months. Moving on to my first weekly setup, I did a similar weekly setup layout in July. I just decided to do something similar this time around. And also I decided to draw different scarves as well for each day of the week and I think it turned out super cute. It was just really fun to draw all the different designs for the scarves.
So yeah, that's how it looks like and I'm just using some stickers to just tie everything together and I was lucky enough to have some autumn stickers lying around so I just pasted them throughout some of my spreads as well Here's a final flip through of all my spreads that I did for the month of November I'm really excited to set up my other weekly spreads as well I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe it'll mean so much to me That's the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye!